Did I say Fiddler on the Green? No. Yes. Fiddler. <laughs> Fiddler. Tavern on the Roof. Hey, Andrew, Andrew here. I said a Fiddler on the Roof. At the Broadway Theater. Nobody cares where it's at. It's at the Broadway Theater. Which is on Broadway. For the record, we just saw the show with uh, Laura Benanti. She loves me. I, I wish. I wish Laura Benanti loved me. Same author as Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, really? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Fiddler on the Roof is a stalwart, evergreen, perennial, musical, theatrical, standby, standard. Have you seen it? No. Have you? No. So what do you, you know that... You know that uh, Harvey Firestein was in this once? I thought he was. Am I wrong? No, he was. He was. Right, he was on. Um, All I know about it is that it's the basis for that song by Eve. If I was a rich man. Yeah. Oh my God, they sing that song in this show. Uh huh. So let's go in there and see, and like, see if we can't learn ourselves about this matchmaker and this fiddler. Oh boy, here we are at intermission. For somebody who grew up in what I thought was a very Jewish environment, I'm learning some stuff about what it means to be Jewish right now. I kind of want to be Jewish now. I, I, you've always wanted to be Jewish. I took you to your first Passover Seder and you were like, I'm the ignorant child. The show is about tradition against the backdrop of rampant systemic anti-Semitism. Poor Jewish kids want to rebel against tradition and marry who they want to marry. Exactly. All these songs you know. For two Gentiles who have not seen this show before, so I'm like, oh, this is that song. I am so sorry I never saw this show before. I'm not that sorry I haven't seen this show before because, to be honest, it's not, it's kind of like, meh. So far, it's like required reading. For all the, the glitz and, and fun of this, it also gets at the deep darkness of it, like the wedding procession looking like a funeral procession. The joy and the pain of life. The set design, the choreography, it's on the right side of minimalism. For me, it's on the wrong side of that's boring. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm seeing it. Let's go back inside and see the second half of, is it over? There's Sorry. more. There's more. Fiddler on the roof. Well, apparently this is the entire backstory of what it means to be an American Jew living in diaspora. In light of what's happening with Syria, with what's happening with refugees, Refugees. Refugees. What's, what's happening That's with Kanye's new album, Refugees. The, 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 what's happening with marriage equality and the changing of the times. This sort of is a good time to bring this show back. Super thankful to see the show. I do feel as though a part of my personhood, both as a musical theater lover and as just like a New Yorker, was missing from not having seen this show. Good point, good point. In a way, attending this performance has elevated me, my spirit. At the same time, it feels a little dispassionate. I think the problem with this show is that it's too much about tradition. Like, there's a tradition to this show itself, and there's a tradition to the actual show. But the can we talk the, about that for the a second? way that the show is done is very traditional, and it would have been interesting if they kind of updated it or done something so it wasn't so traditional. There's a lot of great things happening on Broadway right now. I wouldn't make this to be the one show to go to. Exactly, two yellow lights for Fiddler on the Roof. You could do worse.